On 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the New Orleans Pelicans going up against the Milwaukee Bucks here at Pfizer Forum. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce with us on the sidelines. Hey, Allie. Hey, Brian. Well, the Pelicans head coach Willie Green raves about Brandon Ingram. He said, Brandon's otherworldly talented, has an extremely high basketball IQ. He's a great teammate, a great human being. It's just fun to be around him, to coach him, and to learn from him. B.A. Two-Way Street. Hey, it doesn't get much better than that, Allie. Thanks for that. And we're expecting an intense battle in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. All right, let's take a look at New Orleans' starting lineup. In at forward, it's Ingram and Williamson. Then there's Josh Richardson. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Alvarado in at the point guard. And for Milwaukee, at forward, it's the talented Giannis and Middleton. Holiday and Connaughton are in at guard. And it's Portis in at the five, down low. Outside Holiday. Connaughton outside. And Josh Richardson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. Richardson against Connaughton. Outside Holiday. Just five on the clock. The ball's knocked loose from deep three-point range. The shot won't fall. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. Last time they met was in New Orleans. And last time against this squad, they struggled to make free throws. Yeah, and that was the difference, really. I mean, you think about it, they didn't knock them down at the same rate. And that hurt them. And check out how in sync Valanciunas is with the ball handler. They've clearly practiced that move plenty of times. Here's Milwaukee. Connaughton outside. Pass to Portis. Now here's Holiday. And here's Middleton. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. As pretty much any coach, that's how he'd like to start the game. An outstanding athlete. Pat Connaughton was a pro baseball pitcher, registering 96 miles per hour on the radar gun. However, Pat chose hoops, and the Bucks are glad he did. Now here's Richardson. In his last outing, 16 points for him. On the wing, Holiday. Almost two minutes into the first here. Count the basket. Well, talking about Pat Connaughton, he's not the first guy to be drafted in pro baseball and then the NBA Clark. Hey, B.A., not surprising coming from you, that factoid, because of all the baseball games you call. But you're right, Danny Ainge played in the big leagues. How about this? I didn't know Dale Curry had been drafted in both the round ball and the hard ball, meaning baseball. So precedent for that type of dual talent. Basket's good. Well, you can't contest much better than that. And when Josh Richardson makes hard shots, you know he's locked in. For Milwaukee, they've gone two of three from the floor. Outside Holiday. Pass to Middleton. And he lobs it up. It's deflected. Ingram against Middleton. And Ingram gets it to go on the assist by Richardson. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. Not there. And the basket by Adetokounmpo. From role player to MVP, Giannis is improving his upper body strength. Has really been a factor in his overall development. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need 
toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Now here's Richardson. Making a mark on the offensive end. Scoring around 13 a game. Pass to Ingram. Six on the shot clock. Here's Williamson. Doesn't go for him. Great D that time from Middleton. Galachunas against Anadokounmpo. Now here's Colleton. Portis with it. Middleton from the outside. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Oh, oh nice! Oh, big finish! Man. Outstanding decision-making by Ingram there. Working it to the open man. Really good possession. And another look at the mobile one drive as he put it into overdrive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Three-pointer, and it's Chris Middleton with the three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. The Pelicans have gone four of five so far, looking sharp. Pass to Richardson, outside Ingram. Here's Alvarado. Richardson with it. The three is up. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. 13 feet out. The Pelicans pull it in. They defeated Washington in their last game. That game could have been a lot closer than it was. But they were just too sharp down the stretch. Yeah, I thought they did a great job closing the door and keeping it out of reach at the end. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And the shot goes in. Getting better and better as a playmaker. Giannis is the ultimate team first superstar. He does put up big assist numbers, and that's an evolving part of his game. Here's Alvarado. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And when Pelicans fans watch what Ingram has become, it takes the sting out of the Anthony Davis trade, Graham. Yeah, I mean, Ingram has grown into a full-fledged star in New Orleans. I mean, he's a centerpiece for the franchise going forward. Now, looking back, it seems like it was a win-win trade for both teams. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one at the line is good. And some surprise teams that started out hot have not cooled down. Their fans are wondering if this is the new normal. Well, B.A., it's easy for fans to jump to that conclusion. But look, the bottom line is you can't look too far ahead. you got to stay in the moment and enjoy the ride. I wish I had done more of that when I was playing. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Yeah, bottom line for this Pelican squad, they need to get better on the defensive end. They may have to get more 3 and D type of guys on this roster. Now here's Colleton. 14 points for him. Last game against the Pacers at Indianapolis. Six to shoot. Takes a 13-footer. Off the left rim and out. All right, so about the Pelicans. What has been holding them back? Well, B.A., it's definitely not the offense, especially with the healthy Zion. If they can find a way to have greater consistency on the defensive end, then they can take a big step as a franchise. Count it. Ingram's got six. Now put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. The Bucks trail. Timeout call. Milwaukee. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them, but they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. Kumpo, the pass to Portis. Now Holiday. Pass to Connaughton. Shot clock at six. Now 
Here's Holiday. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. Richardson against Holiday. Here's Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Well, that's a smart play from Richardson there. His teammates love how hard he works to create opportunities for him. For Milwaukee, they've gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. Pass to Middleton. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Portis against Valanciunas. Outside Ingram. Over Middleton. They get the rebound. It's good on the putback. Oh, the motor of Williamson is special. Awesome at staying engaged and hitting the offensive glass. Oh, got a piece of it. Outside Holiday. Pass to Portis. Looking to end the run. Pelicans cleared away. Valanciunas has got six rebounds now in the game. Williamson outside. Ingram with the ball. The three. And Alvarado gets it to go. And now an eight-point New Orleans lead. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. You're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Milwaukee has gone one for five from three-point range. Timeout, timeout. A cold start. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Boy, I tell you, the Bucks are a big, tough, physical team, even in the backcourt. That's part of why they won the championship in 21 and are contenders going forward as long as they stay healthy. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Crowder comes in for Anadokounmpo. Ingles, he's checked in for Middleton. And it's Allen in for Connaughton. Now here's Holiday. And Crowder with the jam. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. Here's Daniels. Six-point game. To the paint. Here's Murphy. Shoots over Lopez. Dance for three. Rebounded by Lopez. You know, Clark, on top of that physicality, the Bucks have guys who can stretch the floor now. Yeah, it's a nice combination, B.A. They can create space without having to play small ball. Not many teams can do that. Makes them one of the more unique squads in the league. Some room here for Jones. That shot, no good. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Now here's Allen. Right now contributing around 10.5 points a game. Holiday finds Crowder. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got rebound number seven tonight. Here's Nance. Goes back up. Pass to Murphy. Jones from outside. The rebound by the Bucks. From deep. And Drew Holiday hits from deep. Holiday's got seven points. This is clearly an area Holiday wants to improve. And he is knocking it down from deep. The floor opens wide up for him. And here's Jones. Pass to Murphy. Dance outside. Clock at six. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Give that one to Jay Crowder. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Well, hey guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been? Just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys? Lots of points in the paint. Something to continue to keep our eye on. one falls for him. And so he makes both from the line. You know, for this Bucks team, 
They seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently. Yeah, this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well. And they've got so many different ways that they can play on the floor. That's what makes them so successful. Well, that <laughs> and Giannis. He's off on that one. Nice D from Valanciunas. And it's New Orleans ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Outside Jones. Here's Murphy. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Valanciunas passes to Jones. That one's good for two. And the Pelicans lead by seven. Not the best of shot selection there, but you know what? You do not look a gift horse in the mouth. Milwaukee has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Pass to Ingles. Back to Holiday. We've got 155 left in the opening quarter. Six on the shot clock. Here's Allen. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Here's Daniels. He's covered by Holiday. Pass to Valentunas. One twenty-five left to play in the first quarter. They get it back. Here's Murphy. Soft touch off the glass. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Outside, Ingles. Back to Allen. And here's Lopez. Allen is covering. Ingles finds Allen. They get it back. Knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will keep it. Hayes is checked in for Valanchunas. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. Here's Crowder, averaging around six a game. Pass to Bochamp. Shot clock at five. And again, it's the Bucks missing. New Orleans in the lead. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Holiday. Three on three. There's 25 seconds left in the opening quarter. Lopez can't hit. Here's New Orleans now. They're on a 17-7 run. Poke loose. Lopez with the steal. Holiday passes to Crowder. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Holiday. Here's Jones. From deep. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you think, guys? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. Well, New Orleans shooting around 50% in the game so far. Okay, on the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. Ingram and Zion, the former Dukies, in it forward. Then there's Jackson Hayes. Then there's Josh Richardson. And it's Alvarado in at the point guard position. Here's Holiday, And it falls for him. He's now four of seven from the field. Well, that's a nice up-tempo play from Holiday. Got the rock and didn't waste any time finding the shot. Outside Ingram. 
Pass to Richardson. He shoots. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Ingram's got three assists tonight. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Connaughton outside. Here's Bochamp, covered by Ingram. Connaughton outside. There's the three. Rebounded by Ingram. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebounding. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Hayes. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. That's simply a gimme for a player of his caliber. I mean, the defense cannot allow that. To the right side. Throws it up high. And onto Tecumpo with the stuff. How about the springs of this guy, onto Tecumpo, also known as the Greek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley oop chants. Here's Alvarado. Right now, averaging five and a half a game. That's tip. Five on the clock. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the continuity for the Bucks is a strength. Chris Middleton said, quote, we've been through every type of situation, so you know what to expect. There's no need to worry about failing because you know what you need to do. Brian, some call it corporate knowledge. Well, a key aspect when it comes to NBA dynasties. Thanks, Allie. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post-up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. And he drops the first. Middleton has checked in for the Bucks. So he gets them both. Here's Alvarado. Pass to Richardson. Here's Alvarado. Shot clock at six. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Out of Kumpo, pass to Portis. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Something Bobby Portis has truly captured is the love of the fans, Clark. Yeah, his energy and enthusiasm is palpable and contagious, but he also puts in the work, and fans recognize that hard work. Ingles, he's checked in for the Bucks. Both free throws, good from Portis. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. We know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Now here's Richardson. Making a mark on the offensive end. Scoring around 13 a game. Pass to Alvarado. Shoots over Connaughton. 
And it's Alvarado missing. For Milwaukee, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Connaughton outside. Now on to Kumpo. And stolen by Hayes. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, Ingram is quiet about the work he puts in after practice and before games. Uh, this is a guy who just never stops trying to improve, though, and that's shown up in how he's grown as a player. First free throw is good. The Pelicans making a switch here. Valanchunas has checked in. Both free throws good from Ingram. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Now here's Connaughton. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game. Milwaukee, no good that time either. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. On the wing, Richardson... And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Offensive board. Good on the shot. Adana Kumpo has got six points. Well, that's just a matter of outworking the defense there by Giannis. Beating them to the glass and sending it right back. Outside Ingram. Pass to Richardson. Six to shoot. Here's Alvarado. No good from outside. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Ingles with it. Lots of room. And misses it off the right side of the rim. For New Orleans, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. To the inside, Alvarado. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Ingram's got four assists in the game. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. The Bucks trail. Anadokounmpo, the pass to Middleton. Back to Anadokounmpo. Fires from the wing. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Alvarado, covered by Connaughton. Ingram against Middleton. Pass to Alvarado. Just five to shoot. Richardson for three. It's not going to go for him. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Three-pointer is up. Middleton counted from distance. Middleton's gotten his second bucket. Boy, you've got to respect Middleton anywhere on the arc. The top, the corners, he's just that lethal. Pass to Richardson. Now here's Ingram. Middleton covering. Here's Alvarado. Now Valanchunas over Portis. Valanchunas can't get it to go. The kick out to Ingles. Ana de Kumpo with it. Middleton outside. Fires for three. And another three for Milwaukee. Middleton really is an amazing shooter. Absolutely amazing. Especially from long distance. Down low. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Here's Middleton following the score by New Orleans. 
Robertson outside. Outside, Ingles. Banked it in off the glass. Ingles has got his first two points. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. New Orleans calls timeout. And some changes here for the Bucks. Crowder, he's checked in for Portis. And it's Allen in for Ingles. New Orleans has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Pass to Jones. Outside Ingram. This one for 3. And again, no good by New Orleans. The Bucks have gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. And he's going for the oop here. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. It's really easy to understand why this team thinks so highly of Antetokounmpo. I mean, a smart player, he takes high percentage shots, and he's team first in his approach. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Pat Connaughton. And one thing you know you'll always get with Valentunas, he's going to rebound. Offense, defense, no matter what, he's attacking the glass. throw drops for Valanchunas and with his size and reach Valanchunas is a monster on the boards Grant. That is true. I mean impossible to move in the paint. He gets a wide base and just vacuums missed shots and his great touch allows him to rack up second chance points as well. Lopez he's checked in for Connaughton. And Valanchunas drops them both. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Ingram against Crowder. Middleton outside to the middle. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist by Middleton. Lopez has gotten his first bucket of the night. Lopez not to be denied. Nice strong finish there. Pass to Jones. Lopez with the steal. And the Bucks pushing it up now. On the wing, Crowder. He's guarded by Nance. Crowder, left side. Now Allen. Four on the clock. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. down the first one both free throws good from Ingram he's as solid as it gets from the line I mean give him the opportunity he's cashing in on those Pass to Lopez. Shoots over Valanciunas. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. He is actually two hands full inside. And Lopez more than happy to take the trip to the line.
Yeah. First free throw is good. Nice looking set shot for Lopez. He can stretch the floor just about to the three point line. And that's good as he hits both shots. Here's Daniels. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Ingram. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's foul number two for him. And that's two fouls for him so far. But I still think he needs to stay aggressive. Holiday finds Lopez. Here's Bochamp. Eight points in his last timeout. Outside Holiday. Six on the shot clock. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. Bochamp gets the bucket. He's got five. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor if you want to win. They have loads of confidence from three-point land right now. Here's Daniels. Averaging around six a game. Outside Jones. Inside. Great D that time from Allen. Milwaukee's gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Knocks it loose. Oh, stolen by Dance. Let's the three fly. Gets the three to fall. Dance has got five. Opportunistic basketball. Gets a great look at the three in transition. Pass to Allen. Crowder against Nance. Now here's Holiday. No one near him. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Ingram on the wing. He had 22 in the win against Washington. Jones, his shot is good. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. There's a minute 34 left to play in the first half. Holiday with the ball. He's got nine. Allen, the pass to Lopez. Shoots over Valanciunas. Lopez can't hit. New Orleans has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Jones up top. Allen defending. And Nance with the slam. And, you know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. 56 seconds left in the second quarter. Back to Holiday. Can they get it? And he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. Tonight, we're seeing what Holiday's capable of. He's a total team guy, wants to set up other people, but he can also carry the offensive load if called upon. Pass to Valentunas. Here's Jones. And Bochamp pulls it down. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. That free throw misses. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Jones. Checking his numbers. He's put up a little over nine points a game. Out left to the wing. Clock at six. Here's an eight-footer. Unable to get that one. And here's Allen. He buries it from three. Allen's got five. And the chess match continues. And seven lead changes already, and we're still in the first half. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Bucks ahead. They lead by two. 
Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks, I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy, so it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play, everybody. Welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. What a game it's been for Drew Holiday. He had 12 points, two rebounds, and two assists. And Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Milwaukee? Well, I love the way they're pushing the tempo, beating the defense down the floor, filling the lanes, finishing with authority, Ernie, getting to the rim, and finishing hard. And Shaq, how'd you think the Pelicans were playing? Well, I love that they were forceful of their offensive end. They got the shots they wanted. They played aggressively and got to the line. A strong attacking mindset. I like it. We'll see if they bring the same attitude in the second half, though. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. What a game we're seeing from Drew Holiday. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. You know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. The Pelicans trail. Inside it to four and five, it's Giannis and Portis. Then it's Chris Middleton. Then there's Drew Holiday. And that's the group for Mike Budenholzer as we begin the second half. Williamson finds Ingram. And a slam dunk by Ingram. And the speed Ingram has makes him a nightmare for defenses in pick and rolls. I mean, he constantly keeps them on skates and wondering what's next. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks a lot. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo has won MVPs, Defensive Player of the Year, and a championship. But he says, quote, I am not satisfied. As the leader of this team, that's the tone I set. I don't care about trophies. I care about getting better. And that's what I've done my entire career. Ryan, he stays focused. Nose to the grindstone, Ali. Thanks for that. Perhaps the best trait of Giannis his loyalty, Clark. Love that about him, B.A. We've seen others test those free agent waters. No begrudgment there, but not Giannis. Stayed in Milwaukee, a small market team, signing an extension in 2020, and then led the Bucks to that 2021 title. The Greek freak didn't need to get to a super team to get a ring. He birthed and led a super team right where he was. And so it's Milwaukee with it. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Here's Bochamp, guarded by Richardson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. One misses. 90 seconds into the second half now. Anadokounmpo against Ingram. 
Outside Richardson. To the paint. Down to five on the shot clock. And as it goes out of bounds, New Orleans will keep possession. The Bucks making a switch here. Connaughton's checked in. Here's Williamson. You know, his stats have been solid. Averaging around 18 and a half points a game. Against length. Good job trying the fadeaway, but it is a low probability shot. On an Akupo can't connect. The Pelicans have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Ingram, the pass to Richardson, to the middle. Now in Tunis. The shot off that time. Oh, great D that time from Portis. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. That'll be a second foul of the game. Milwaukee in the lead. Anadokounmpo outside. Good chance here for Connaughton. And the Bucks miss again. He has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. Pass to Alvarado for the lead. And the Pelicans miss again. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his third foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Holiday passes to Connaughton. Inside, inside. And here's Middleton. Over Ingram. And Ingram with the block. You know, that's where Brandon Ingram's huge wingspan comes into play at the defensive end of the floor. Fades back. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got four rebounds now. Oh, they get a hand on it. Connaughton passes to Anadokounmpo. Holiday with the ball. Here's Middleton. Covered by Ingram. The 11-footer. Middleton, no good. And I'm sure this isn't how they drew it up at the half. Only one for five here in the third quarter. Williamson misses. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Pass to Holiday. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. And here's Connaughton for three. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Williamson's got his sixth rebound on the night. To win the drought. Oh, and the big finish by Williamson. Did you guys feel that? When Zion slams it, the floor shakes. And let's take another look at that exceptional drive, thanks to Mobile One. And he's been incredible this game. And plays like that one show you how locked in he is. Pass to Middleton. And here's Connaughton for three. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. Ingles, he's checked in for Connaughton. And the Pelicans also making a change. Hayes is checked in. Timeout called. Milwaukee. And few players are as electric as Zion. The speed and power he plays with, something you see once every few decades. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Outside, Ingles. Now Holiday. And he lobs it up top. Porta's shot is off. And the blend of speed and power, as you said, Grant, Zion is unmatched. He's a rhino with a jetpack. And on defense, when you see him coming in the open floor, you don't want to get in his way. The explosiveness in the paint is really what makes him so efficient. Milwaukee is gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Now Ingles, covered by Ingram. Ingles against Ingram. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Close games often come down to who makes the big plays on defense. 
And that is one heck of a rejection right there. Williamson against Anadokounmpo. Five to shoot. Outside, Ingles. Boy, the long limbs of Ingram come into play on defense. Bothering shooters with his length and his hustle. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Richardson against Ingles. Back to Ingram. Over Holiday. The shot by Ingram. No good. The Bucks trail. Middleton outside. Pass to Portis. And the shot goes. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. For New Orleans, they've gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Alvarado. Give him eight points now. Hayes with it. Defended by Portis. Now here's Richardson. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Kept alive. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. Holiday passes to Portis. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his third assist of the night. Nice dime drop there from Holiday. Excellent awareness. Here's Alvarado. Pass to Richardson. Plenty of space. And Williamson throws it down. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. Here's Holiday after the Pelicans pick it up a basket a moment ago. On the wing, Ingles. Covered by Ingram. And there it is for him. And the Bucks lead by two. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. New Orleans calls timeout. Different look for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Crowder comes in for Anadokounmpo. And it's Allen in for Middleton. Richardson against Holiday. Outside Jones. Nance outside. Outside Richardson. No good on the triple. Milwaukee has gone one of four here in the third from range. Outside, Ingles. Allen finds Lopez. Back to Allen. Oh, stolen by Dance. Pass to Murphy. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. And he makes it first. Makes both free throws. The Bucks shooting an average of 43% for the floor. Holiday passes to Ingles. Back to Holiday. Pass to Crowder. Outside Holiday. Four on the clock. Up and over Richardson. The shot by Holiday. No good. New Orleans has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Stolen by Ingles. 
Allen on the wing. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. Here's Richardson. Who poked away. Here's Jones. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's on Pat Connaughton. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. drops so now they lead by one he's perfect from the line this time and man looking good from the line so far this half 100 percent since halftime Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. And here's Connaughton for three. Knocks down the triple. Connaughton's got five now. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist total, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now here's Jones. He has six. Pass to Murphy. The three ball. And the three-pointer goes. He has seven. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Here's Connaughton. Five points in the game. Down low. Lopez passes to Crowder. Shot clock at six. From the arc. Lance pulls down the board. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Outside Richardson. And he's going for the lob. And Nance with the slam. Yeah, Josh Richardson is just not a scorer and defender, folks. He can pass it, too. Milwaukee has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Collinson outside. 152 left in the third. Shoots. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. Man. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. The Bucks trail. Now here's Holiday. 12 points for him. Pass to Boche. They need this. Pure from three-point range. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. A minute four left in the third quarter. Richardson with it. Knocked away. And there's the lob. Well, it's almost like Richardson has a sixth sense for those openings. Knows just where to send it. 51 seconds left in the third. Richardson against Holiday. Up top, Crowder. Shoots over Nance. Crowder, left side. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the lay-in. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. Here's Richardson. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Jones. And he converts the layup. 
Jones has got eight. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Here's Holiday. Count it! And the foul! That's on Josh Richardson. Boy, there is an understated, quiet physicality to Holiday's game. I mean, he's a guy that you don't want to mess with. He's strong and tough and persistent. That's good from Holiday. Holiday really is a soft-spoken guy on and off the court. Leads by example, is extremely reliable and talented, and his teammates have great respect for him because of it. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Pelicans ahead, up by two. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the court for the Pelicans, getting the fourth quarter going. Zion and Valanchunas playing up front. Then it's Brandon Ingram, and it's Murphy in at the two. 19-footer. Milwaukee with the rebound. Anacupo's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Good chance here for Crowder. No good, a bit long that time. New Orleans in the lead. Williamson, right side. Tipped away. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. Holiday finds Connaughton. And here's Middleton, covered by Ingram. Middleton against Ingram. To the inside. On to the Kunko. Oh, Giannis dunks it home. And he's now got the double-double. Superb initiative from Antetokounmpo. I mean, that may be something we overlook, but being able to take that initiative allows him to be a real menace when he's rolling to the rim after a pick. Pass to Alvarado. Just five to shoot. Here's Williamson. No good off the back of the rim. And Milwaukee shooting around 44%. Not bad. Now here's Anadokounmpo, covered by Williamson. Valanchunas against Middleton. Over Valanchunas. Here's Anadokounmpo. And that basket makes him 6 for 11, shooting a good percentage. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. Pass to Ingram. Here's Williamson. Up and over Crowder. And Williamson gets it to go. So dangerous inside. Williamson has a great feel for how to capitalize from there. Honor to Kumpo. The pass to Holiday. Here's Middleton. Misses off the left iron. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. And stolen by Connaughton. And stolen by Williamson. Ingram on the wing. The three is up. Counted. That's his sixth field goal in 12 tries. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Pelicans. You have to be a fan of the energy they played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet. And it's come up big a few times for them. The shooting's been great, but also how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. Pass to Crowder. Six on the shot clock. No 
Milwaukee, no good that time either. He just can't find a consistent way to score, and this team could certainly use it. Ingram is listed at 6'8", but that wingspan is north of 7 feet. That allows him to get extra reach on his drives. The Bucks have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Anadokupo finds Middleton. And here's Holiday. Here's Murphy. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First one falls. Bobby Portis has checked in for the Bucks. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And the Bucks call time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Mike Budenholzer said to the team. He was pumping them up, trying to rally them, saying, quote, this game is ours. Don't back off now. Force mistakes with our defense. Work quickly at the offensive end and just keep attacking. Looking for a late burst, guys. Allie, thank you. Pass to Williamson. Outside Ingram. Let's it fly. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. Ingram's got seven points for the quarter. Here's Ana Kumpo. Outside Holiday. Now here's Middleton. Connaughton outside. Oh, there's the alley! Six to shoot, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Connaughton. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. Here's New Orleans now. Stringing it together. They've got an 11-2 run going. Here's Murphy. Middleton covering. Pass to Alvarado. Got a piece of it. Here's Williamson. That one doesn't drop. Great D that time from Anadokounmpo. The Bucks have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Three-pointer, Holiday. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. The Pelicans have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Ingram against Connaughton. Pass to Alvarado. Back to Ingram. Five on the clock. Shoots over Connaughton. And the Pelicans miss again. Milwaukee has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Jacks up a three. Here's Anadokounmpo. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. He's delivering for his team when it matters most. Composed under pressure, and he's now four for four here in the fourth. Valachunas against Portis. In transition. Here come the Bucks, And here's Connaughton for three. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Middleton's got assist number five here tonight. The Pelicans trail. Here's Alvarado. Outside Ingram. to Alvarado 
clock at six. Murphy shot is off. Milwaukee with the ball. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. Williamson against Colleton. Pass to Alvarado. There's the triple. Nails it from beyond the arc. And the Pelicans lead by two. Oh, this one has turned into an absolute nail-biter. Yeah, at this point, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. Connaughton outside. Back to Holiday. Portis outside. Ingram against Middleton. Williams grabs the board. Williamson's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Alvarado. Pass to Valanchunas. Down low. Here's Ingram. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And now it's a four-point New Orleans lead. The Bucks have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Here's Middleton. Collinson outside. Portis left side. Middleton outside. Back to Portis. Outside Holiday. Here's Ingram. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. They pinned that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. First one falls for him. Jones, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Both free throws good from Ingram. Milwaukee has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Inside. Here's Anadokounmpo. And he gets the bucket. Anadokounmpo's got ten points here in the second half. Continue to get that man the rock. He's delivering whatever it counts. Yes, sir. He is dialed in. Six of six in the quarter and looking for more. And the Pelicans call time here. And Grant, last season, Drew Holiday winning the NBA Teammate of the Year Award for the second time. Yeah, and in 2021, B.A., he got the NBA Sportsmanship Award, too. So needless to say, Holiday tremendously respected by his peers and known for his dedication to others. Here's Alvarado. to Jones Williamson against Sonata Kumpo here's Ingram and yes it goes got a little English on that one Ingram's got 13 points now in the quarter the Bucks have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor Connaughton outside oh they get a hand on it and stolen by Jones. Up ahead. And a slam dunk by Ingram. And you know, as time goes on, Ingram continues to embrace more responsibility. He wants to be the focal point of this offense. The Bucks trail. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Middleton. Connaughton outside. Who poked away? Stolen by Jones. Portis with the steal. Middleton with it. And it's Ingram picking him up. Middleton passes to Connaughton. Now on to Kumpo. Going inside. And on to Kumpo with the stuff. 
And how about the power of out of the Kumpo? Dynamite whenever he takes it to the rim. New Orleans calls timeout. The Pelicans have gotten 8 of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. Here's Alvarado. Outside Jones. Six on the shot clock. To the paint. Here's Williamson. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. Milwaukee has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Over Williamson. Pelicans cleared away. Valanciunas has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Portis finds Anadokounmpo. Here's Middleton. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Anadokounmpo's got six assists now in the game. Here's Alvarado. Outside Jones. Back to Ingram. On a Kumpo with the block. Hey, when Giannis is lurking nearby, you got to be careful because his wingspan can erase a lot of shots. To the middle. Here's Holiday. Nice shot there. Make it an 8 for 13. Humongous bucket from Holiday. He's become one of the most reliable players in this league during the game and in big moments as well. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Whoa, a drive like that is the kind of play that can shift the entire outcome of a close game like this one. Outside Jones. Pass to Williamson. Just four to shoot. Over to the wing. The three from Valanciunas. Rebound by Middleton. Well, the Bucks shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter. They get it back. Yes! <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Pass to Jones. And here's Valentunas. Shot clock at five. Here's Williamson. Back to Ingram. A shot to stop the drought. Rebound, Milwaukee. To the paint. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Good! Man, the attitude of Ana de Kumpo. Really impressive. Really what you want to see in your team's best player. He's a guy that doesn't back down when the game gets tight and things are on the line. Timeout called. The Pelicans. They're down by two. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Jones. Pass to Ingram. Outside Jones. Here's Alvarado. He shoots it. Oh, off target. And they go to the intentional foul. Timeout called. Milwaukee. an intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Unflappable. This guy relishes being the man to put the game away. So it's a narrow victory for the Bucks, pulling it out for the W.
Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. Yeah, get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game, but they overcame every one. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks, guys. Drew, this team is winning games. What's coming together for this group right now? Honestly, I think it's a bill. I think it's the comfortability with each other. Um, I think it's the chemistry on the court. And from there, you know, it's chemistry builds. You build confidence. And, uh, man, it just, it's fun to play, you know? I do. I hope it continues to build. It's been fun to watch. Thanks, Drew. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time.